Hello everyone. Welcome to Dharmesh Mehta YouTube channel. In Ghost Your Basic series, today we are going to learn about methods of expressing concentration. There are various parameters to express concentration. So let's get started. To understand these parameters, first we will understand what is concentration. Concentration is usually refers to a quantity of substance present in a defined volume of solution. And its general formula is amount of solute upon amount of solution. So to understand this, we will see it with help of an example. So we are going to prepare a salt water, which is also called as brine or saline. Okay. So in this, there are two components. First is salt, second is water. So salt here is a solute and water here is a solvent. So amount of salt present in amount of water is called as concentration of the solution, right? So let's say uh, amount of salt is 0.9 gram and amount of water is 100 ml. So the concentration will be 0.9 gram per 100 ml of water. Okay, so this will be the concentration of salt water. So now we have understood the term concentration. So let's learn about the methods to express the concentration. First is mass percentage or percent by mass. So it's defined as amount of solute in gram present in 100 ml of solution is ratio of mass of solute upon mass of solvent and it is termed as mass fraction. So its formula is mass percentage is equal to mass of solute present in mass of solution in 200. So 100 is for percentage, right? So mass of solution can be also written as mass of solute upon volume of solution into density of solution, okay? So why we are substituting mass of solution to volume into density? We know that density is equal to mass upon volume. So mass will be volume into density. So here we are getting volume of solution into density of solution into 100. 100 again stands for percentage. And one more way to write this mass of solution will be mass of solute plus mass of solvent because solution comprises of solute and solvent. So it will be addition of mass of solute plus mass of solvent and into 100 again because 100 stands for percentage. Next term is percent by volume. So percent by volume is defined as volume of solute in ml present in 100 ml of solution. So your volume of solute will be in ml divided by volume of solution again in ml into 100, 100 for percentage. And it is also denoted as percent V by V that is percent volume by volume. The next term we are going to study is percent mass by volume. So now it is defined as the mass of solute present in 100 ml of solution. It is denoted by percent W by V and its formula is weight of solute in grams upon weight of solution in ml into 100. The next term we are going to study is gram per liter. It is also called as strength or concentration of solution. It is defined as amount of solute in gram present in one liter of solution. It is denoted as gram per liter or gram L raised to minus one. Okay. Its formula is weight of solute in grams divided by volume of solution in liters. When the solute is present in trace quantities, it is convenient to express the concentration in parts per million. For example, say a percent mass by volume of a solution comes to a 0.00006%, then it is better to write in terms of parts per million. Okay, it will be easier to write. It will be directly 6 ppm. 
it is defined as quantity of solute in gram present in 10 raised to 6 that is million grams of solution so its formula is weight of solute in gram upon weight of solution in gram into 10 raised to 6 if we are taking weight of solute in mg then weight of solution should also be taken in mg and into 10 raised to 6 another formula this is for liquid liquid solution then it will be volume of solution in ml upon volume of solution this formula is for solid solid solution for example alloys the next formula is for liquid liquid solution so its formula will be volume of solute in ml upon volume of solution in ml or volume of solute in liters upon volume of solution in liter into 10 raised to 6. The next formula is for solid liquid solution. Example of this is salt water. Its formula will be weight of solute in mg upon volume of solution in liters. Another formula will be weight of solute in micrograms upon volume of solution in ml. Okay. The next time we are going to study its parts per billion. It is similar to parts per million, just instead of 10 raised to 6, we are going to multiply here by 10 raised to 9. So, first formula is for solid solid solution. Its formula is weight of solute upon weight of solution into 10 raised to 9. One thing to remember if solute is in gram, then solution weight also should be in gram. If solute weight is in mg, the solution weight should be in mg. The next formula is for liquid liquid preparation. Its formula is volume of solute upon volume of solution in ml, if both are taken in ml or in liter into 10 raised to 9. The last formula is for solid liquid solution. It will be weight of solute in micrograms upon volume of solution in liter or weight of solute in nanograms upon volume of solution in ml. The next term we are going to study is mole fraction. To understand mole fraction, let's consider a binary solution. A binary solution means the solution has two components. For example, a solute and a solvent just one solute and one solvent so in binary solution we all know the mole fraction of solute plus mole fraction of solvent will be equal to one this is a standard equation okay so let's consider small n to be moles of solute and solute here we are representing by a and capital n b moles of solvent we are representing solvent b b Okay, capital B are present in a particular solution. So, mole fraction of solute that is A will be small n that are moles of solute upon moles of solute plus solvent. So, capital N is solvent, small n is solute and it is denoted by XA. Mole fraction of solute is denoted by XA. X stands for mole fraction. A denotes it is for solute. Okay. Mole fraction of solvent B will be denoted by capital X and B. Okay. And mole fraction of solvent is capital N that are moles of solvent upon capital N plus small n. And we have studied over here that mole fraction of solute plus mole fraction of solvent will be equal to 1. This is a standard equation. So XA that is mole fraction of solute plus mole fraction of solvent is equal to 1. The next term we are going to study is molality. So molality is defined as number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent and it is denoted by small n. The formula for molality is number of moles of solute upon number of kilograms of solvent. One thing to remember here is the in denominator we are having term solvent. In other formulas we have term solution. 
so students usually go wrong over here so please remember this the number of kilograms of solvent is there in denominator now consider grams of solute be w a again your solute is standing as a so its weight will be w a and uh, its molecular mass will be m a okay are present in wb grams of solvent so weight of solvent is denoted as wb so formula for molality will be wa divide by ma into wb into 1000 so where we are getting this term we are getting it because of number of moles so number of moles is represented by this term wa upon ma gives the number of moles of solute and number of kilogram of solvent so wb is grams of solvent as we are taking it in a gram we have to multiply it by 1000 okay next term we are going to see is molarity so molarity is also known as molar concentration it is defined as number of moles of solute per liter or per dm cube liter is also written as dm cube of the solution the formula for molarity is number of moles of solute divided by number of liters of solution now again we are considering same wa is the weight of solute of molecular mass ma and it is dissolved in v liter of solution so we will write the formula as wa upon ma into v so this is giving us moles of solute right and v is in liter so in formula also it is in liter so we don't have to multiply here with any number okay thank you